Dear viewers, greetings. Uh, this is Dr. J.P. Sarandraj, editor and proprietor of J.P. Scientific Publications, India. I am very happy to introduce about our uh, J.P. Scientific Publications to you all. Uh, we have three bi-monthly international journals with uh, ISSN number. And, uh, and our three international journals are indexed in uh, various international agencies. Our international journals names are, the first journal is uh, Indo-Asian Journal of Multidisciplinary Research. In short form, it is called as IAJMR. Our second journal is uh, Life Science Archives. In short form, it is called as LSE. And the third journal is International Journal of Innovations in Agricultural Sciences, that is IJIAS. Along with the journal publication, we also publish in books like uh, monograph books, thesis publication as books, laboratory manuals, textbooks, and edited books with the ISBN numbers. Uh, in this video, uh, we are going to see the guidelines for writing the book chapters for an edited book with ISBN number, which will come under our uh, JPS and publications. A style manual comprising the information to authors for writing chapter for our book is given in this video. Uh, kindly see this video for maintaining consistency in the presentation of the chapter for our books. Uh, your chapter uh, should be submitted in clear and reliable English. Your work should conform to high editorial standards and consistency in style. Uh, in order to ensure high quality, we request all the authors to follow the author's guidelines of JPA scientific publication strictly to bring the book with a good quality. The next is uh, general instructions. Uh, provide your manuscript electronically in MS Word format. Text must be in Times New Roman format with 1.5 line space and 12 points font size. Page number should be in the center at the bottom of the page. Page limit for one chapter is maximum 15 to 20 pages and minimum 10 pages. And next, uh, use standard abbreviations and avoid non-standard abbreviations for writing the chapters. For example, uh, use HR for HAR. MIN for minute, SEC for seconds, YR for year, MON for month, WK for week, and D for day. And do not add yes to create the plural. For example, uh, six year, six month like this use. And don't use uh, six YRS like that or four MONS like that. And for figures, uh, use FIG if singular and use FIGS for plural. Okay. And next, uh, do not abbreviate the names of the months in the text and also do not abbreviate the scientific names like the genus name and uh, species name. So kindly give the genus and species name in a full format. Next, the genus and species name uh, et al, in situ, in vitro, in vivo, all these words should be in italics font while writing the chapter. The text should be in the third person only. If the authors or editors prefer, they may use the first person. However, which narrative style is uh, decided upon should be used consistently throughout the book. Use double quotation marks uh, for quoted information only and don't use the double, uh, double quotation marks in unwanted places. The leave space between the number and all the symbols. And use the symbol percentage uh, only with the numericals in tables and figures. For example, uh, next to the number we can write or we can give the symbols in the uh, format. And in the text, use the word percentage. For example, the percentage of infection is the word means. Within the text, we should give us give the percentage in the word format. If in case we are, you are using the percentage in the figures, or tables means, tables means uh, you will give the percentage in a symbol format. And next, use the word per rather than the slash unless reporting measurements in unit to unit. Uh, for example, arthropods per, per gal and a non or not arthropods slash gal. Next, the mg per mm square and a not mg per mm square like this and the chapter presentation and this is the and this will be the uh, sequence of the chapters first one is the title second one is the author or author's name institution details and email id 
abstracts with minimum four keywords introduction chapter title conclusions acknowledgement is not necessary if you want to acknowledge any person means you will include the acknowledgement part and finally references and next uh, the first page should contain two important things one is the title of the chapter and the second one is the author details the title of the chapter should be brief clear and descriptive and the title should be in bold and upper case title should include the chapter theme and no abbreviations are allowed in the title and next uh, this regarding the author uh, author details the each authors must provide their full name institution name institutional address and email address uh, the corresponding author of the manuscript to whom the correspondence is to be sent must be marked with an asterisk it is the sole responsibility of the corresponding author to ensure that all the co-authors are aware and have approved each and every part or content of the submitted chapter or the manuscript an abstract uh, the short summary of the chapter should be given as the abstract uh, the abstract should not more than 250 words and abstract should be as a single paragraph and do not cite any references in the abstract part the abstract should contain minimum four keywords and maximum seven keywords and the keywords should be typed at the end of the abstract uh, next introduction the introduction part should provide a clear statement of the chapter concept and the introduction should be understandable to the researchers from a broad range of research disciplines and should include up-to-date references that is the recent references and in introduction the sentence should not start with any numbers and see uh, here the 10 gram of soil was added is the verb here the sentence is started with the number 10 this is a wrong wrong format the correct format is instead of this number 10 you should give as 10 in word form that is a ten graph this is the correct format tables table should be submitted as ms word only and not as a pdf or embedded images or any other formats the table should be placed at the appropriate places and the table should be self-explanatory without references to the text title for the table is very must and should be given in the upper side of the table and it should be in bold face letters table should be numbered consecutively in arabic numericals like uh, table 1 table 2 table 3 uh, table 4 etc and next of all any footnotes should be typed at the bottom of the table in italic font the data should be presented either in the table form or in graph form the same data should not be presented in both the table as well as the graph form any one form should be followed uh, figures all figures including the photographs should be numbered consecutively in arabic numericals like figure one figure two figure three etc uh, figures bear a brief title in lower case bold face letters below the figure the title should be given below the figure and for tables the title should be given in the upper region of the table and in contrast for figures the title should be given below the figure the figure should be prepared using applications capable of generating higher resolution gif tiff jpeg or powerpoint before pasting in the microsoft word manuscript file uh, references uh, in reference section uh, cite only those articles published uh, check and include all the references mentioned in the text uh, include adequate information to enable the readers to access the cited materials for example uh, citations of book and conference proceedings must include name and location that is location includes the city state state country uh, all the details of the publishers should be mentioned in the references uh, do not abbreviate the uh, journal names in the reference section uh, give the full names of the journals and uh, this slide is about the textual citations within the test 
if the uh, if the reference uh, is with a single author means if it is coming within the text means for example the parker eta if this reference is coming within the text means the reference the auth name of the author as well as the year should be given within the bracket and if the uh, reference or author's name is coming in the beginning of the test means first the author name and within the bracket year this is a format the same will be followed for the two authors also if the reference is coming within the text means within the bracket you should give the author's name that is two authors uh, smida and uh, reynolds and next the year all the, the author's name two authors name and the year should be within the bracket if the reference is coming in the beginning of the text means first the name of the two authors and within the bracket year uh, and the textual citations will have more than two authors means uh, within the text we should give the name of the author and next etal that is etal the etal should be in italic format and the etal represents the co-authors and here if the text is if the reference is coming within the text means bracket within the bracket name of the first author next the etal the word etal represents the co-workers full stop comma and the year uh, if uh, the reference is coming uh, coming in the beginning of the text means name eta only full stop and within the bracket year uh, if the multiple citation is coming within the text means in the beginning of the text uh, we should give like this first the name of the uh, first reference author year semicolon and followed by the next authors uh, if the multiple publication by same author is coming in the reference section in the textual reference means in the beginning of the text you should give the name of the first author next year followed by the a b c d like that if the same author pu published multiple papers in multiple years means you can give the yes alone after the after the name with this semicolon first the name comma year if the papers coming in same year means a b c d like this if the paper is with different year means semicolon followed by the years like 1997 2009 like this and this uh, and this slide shows the inter reference format for the journals uh, if the reference have only single author means first name of the author comma initial of the author full stop within the bracket year next the title of the reference manuscript next to the title the journal name that is advanced in marine biology is the journal name the journal name should be in italic font and next uh, after the journal name comma volume number within the bracket issue number colon year sorry page number this is the format if in case the single author uh, more than one uh, one publication the same year means we should give us uh, within the bracket in the year a b like this so the format is name comma initial full stop within the year bracket paper title journal name volume number issue number and finally page number this is the format if in case the multiple authors coming means we should add a b like this in the year and for uh, two authors name of the first author comma initial and the in the second in the second author name initial first and name second and for first author name first initial second and for second author initial first and name second full stop within the bracket year next the title of the paper or manuscript that uh, the name of the journal that is in italic form italic format uh, volume number issue number page number if it have more than two authors means first name of the author initial and from second author initial and then name and within the bracket year title of the 
paper title of the journal in italic format volume number issue number colon and then page number uh, these are all the formats for the in reference format for the journal journals and uh, this slide shows the uh, end reference format for authored book and the chapters in edited book and for authored book first the name of the author comma initial full stop within the bracket year title of the book title of the book that is an nanotechnology legal aspects next to the publisher's name that is the crc press next is the city of the publishers and the country of the publisher and for the chapter in the edited book the first the, uh, the first the name of the author comma initial and initial followed by the name full stop year within the bracket title of the chapter title of the chapter page number of the chapter the editor's name that is the book editor names title of the book publisher's name and the city of the publishers this is the uh, format for author book as well as the chapters in an edited book and uh, this slide shows the end, refer end reference format of the conference proceeding uh, first the name of the authors full stop the year of the conference within the bracket full stop the title of the conference uh, proceeding next to the proceeding name that is the proceeding in national academy of science and next where the conference was conducted that is the country in uh, country in, in which country the conference was conducted that is usa that is the 103 is the volume number of the conference that is the conference proceedings and finally the page number this is the format for the conference proceedings and this slide shows the end reference format of thesis or dissertation and the patent uh, first uh, for dissertation or thesis the name of the student comma initial full stop uh, the year uh, the year of thesis submission title of the thesis uh, for which degree the thesis has been submitted that is the phd thesis and the university name comma the name of the university town comma and the name of the country this is the pattern name year title of the thesis for which degree the thesis was submitted that is the that should be given here p thesis next to that to which university the thesis was submitted the city of the university and country of the university and for patent uh, first the name of the patent owners next within the bracket years third the title of the patents next is the patent number that is here the, the, the info in reference uh, here we uh, mention the us patent and its number uh, that's all about the uh, book chapter guidelines uh, dear authors uh, kindly see this video carefully and prepare your chapter according to your guidelines thank you so much and thank you for the support thank you